Hello, welcome back to Football United TV. I'm joined by a very, very special guest here, Monstar CFC. How are you doing, mate? Good, good, good. Monstar CFC here. Pray for the rivals. Mate, you've got yeah. too many arrivals at the moment. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. And um, what, what, what are you making of Chelsea right now? I mean, you're looking back about a year ago, the, the ban and everything and Lampard coming in. And now looking at you now, it's completely different. It's like a... It's like a caterpillar forming itself into a butterfly, it seems. But do you think it will be that case? Yeah, I mean, looking at looking at the team, we what what Lampard has done, obviously with the academy players and things like that, it's been great. It's been amazing to watch. Obviously, he's pushed us through that band, to, um, you know, elevated us com, um, compared to you know, if you if you look at what we had before with Sari, it was such a toxic atmosphere from the fans. Lampard has lifted the spirits. Chelsea in the top four. We've now gone out and bought the right players. We've not gone out and just bought anyone. We bought the right players. And now we're looking to the challenge for titles. So, yeah, it's great. That's amazing. And you think maybe even Lampard winning um, a league trophy with, with Chelsea would be, would be legendary, wouldn't it, for the guy that's it would. the top goal scorer of the club, you know? Yeah, yeah. It would be so legendary. It would be amazing for us. You said you was a little bit scared, a little bit worried about something. What, what was that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of legends taking over football clubs. So I give you an instance when Didier Drogba came back the second time. I wasn't the biggest fan of it because I thought he left on in such a legendary fashion, scoring a winning penalty in the Champions League. You know, that was a chapter done, dusted. I just, you know, I don't want legends to come back and not perform and then people think of them in another, do you know what I mean, in another way. I just think, I'm not a fan of that. I think once you go out on a higher note, just leave it there, innit? But so far, Lampard's done a good job, so I'm happy with it. Yeah, you know what, I, I think it's good too, especially coming from Derby as well, and, and everyone was a bit sceptical about how he would be in the Premier League and yeah. that you had the ban as well, but you know, getting top four with the squad that you had last season was an, a, a remarkable achievement, I think. You know what I mean? And exactly. People overlook it, you know what I mean? And think, that oh, well, they should have got higher. It's Chelsea Football Club. Yeah, but with the circumstances that they were, they were put under, I, I definitely think, looking at it right now, next season, it's amazing, isn't it? Like, I, I'm yeah. a United fan. This, this feels like... I'm a, I'm a bit jealous. I'm, I'm jealous right now, you know? And I, I should cut that out because we should be getting signings in too. But what do you think to other Premier T League teams looking at um, Chelsea at the moment? Do you think they should be running scared? Uh, I, think, I think teams should be worried. We've seen Jurgen Klopp speak up today. You know, I can tell he's worried. Um, I know other, we've, we've, since Chelsea started signing players in this transfer window, you've seen a lot of rival fans talking about Chelsea, talking about, you know, Roman's about to buy the league again and blah, blah. But, you know, it, to me, that just, that just confirms we're doing the right thing. If rivals are scared, we are doing the right thing. And um, uh, am I worried about other teams? Mm, I, I'm, I am curious to see how City are going to get on how Liverpool are going to get on. And I'm really curious about Man United as well, because I do think they are going to get Jadon Sancho. So we'll see how that works out. Yeah. You're about to go on the football terrace pretty much and talk about that, aren't you? What, what do you make of that then, seeing as you're a Chelsea fan and he's going to be most likely the highest priced by this summer? What do you yeah. make? I'm a I'm a big fan of his, not just because you know he's he's English. I'm a big fan of his because he's he actually is from up the road from where I am, where I live, where I'm from. So he's from my area. I will always root people from my area on. Um, even though I'm a Chelsea fan, I rooted on Rio Ferdinand. He's from my area as well. He's done so much for our community. In fact, he did so much for youths like us, built youth centres in our area and things like that. So with Jaden Sancho, it's the same thing. I think he's an amazing player. He, I mean, we're talking about a guy that hits double-digit assists and goals season in season at such a young age. He's going to be an amazing player. So I really do hope Man United get him because I want all everyone to be strengthened for a great season for us, you know, for a great season, just the Premier League and a great season for the English teams in the Champions League as well. So I am rooting for everyone to get who they want to get. 
So yeah, you, you're saying about Jaden Sancho come from the German league, and you've got obviously Havertz and Werner. Yeah. How do you think they'll do in, in in Chelsea coming from the Bundesliga? I think they'll do well. I think they'll do very well. I think they'll they'll get good numbers. Um, I'm not I, I'm not I'm not really bothered about them getting uh, Werner getting a uh, you know the golden boot or whatever. I just I want the goals to spread throughout the team. So and with that, you know, we can possibly win the Premier League. So I think they are going to do really well. Do you know what I mean? I, have, I think they are. I, f- I think so too, yeah. Looking at Werner as well in, in the German shirt recently, you know what I mean? Like, he looks yeah. pumped to go, he's ready. He's like, I can't wait to just play my first my first game for, yeah. for in the Premier League, which is the, the league that he always wanted to go to. So where do you think, where do you think, Monster, Chelsea are going to finish this season? I genuinely think we're going to win the league. I genuinely think so. I think last season, if you look at games where we lost, I know it's all, oh, yeah, yeah, if this, if that. But when I because wa- I watched every single game of ours last season and watching those games, every game, you know, we were, except for maybe Sheffield United, but even against Liverpool, we were right in there with them. In the first game, we probably should have beat them, but obviously VAR didn't go our way. And, you know, they got a nice, Trent scored a beautiful free kick. In the second game, we were on our way back. Kepa didn't do us any favours. Jorginho didn't do us any favours as well. Um, so we, we are really competitive and we've shown we can hang in there with the top teams. Now with this these additions, it's going to be scary now because now we've got the right additions, the right uh, experience in Thiago Silva, it's, and we're about to get a goalkeeper as well. So it's going to be a really good side. I think people should be wary of what we're going to do this season. What about, um, just to quickly end off, what about Champions League? How do you think um, Chelsea would do this season? Obviously getting knocked out by Bayern Munich. Yeah. But- um, I, uh, what, obviously, I'm looking at other teams around Europe. And I'm looking at your Real Madrid, I'm looking at your Barcelona, and obviously I'm looking at your Bayern Munich. I think Bayern Munich are going to be weaker without Thiago. It looks like he's leaving. Real Madrid, Barcelona, they're in turmoil. They're, they're right now, they're not ready to compete in the Champions League. So I'm not worried about them. So I'm, uh, there's not really any team that scares me. Not Juve either. They don't scare me either. So I think Chelsea can get, they should be able to get a semi-final finish. I think so too. I'm not sure about where Man United are going to finish in Champions League, depending on what they do in in, in the rest of the transfer window. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get the players that we want. But I see Chelsea doing very good. I also see City doing quite well as well. I, I think I am hoping so, because I've the one thing is I'm a Chelsea fan, but I've right from last season I genuinely thought Guardiola was going to win. Um, a quadruple. I was so scared that they were going to win a quadruple and they came so close. Had not VAR screwed them over the last minute when I, um, with a handball or whatever, or the offside of Aguero's goal, in it. So, and this season, I don't know what happened. Guardiola literally, it was just an instance of, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And he fixed it, in a sense, <laughs> when it wasn't broken. <laughs> so, um, like I said before, I, I am rooting for all English teams in the in the Champions League because I wasn't happy about Kylian Mbappe take, making fun of us, you know, when he tweeted out that Farmers League and he, you know, he threw a jab at us. So I am hoping all English teams can go far this season. I would love to go back to the days of the Man United and Chelsea, Arsenal in the semi-finals. Them that you know, remember those days, isn't it? I, yeah. I want to go back to that. Yeah. When was it? Like I think two thousand and and eight five onwards. Like every, yeah, yeah. Not many wins, but finalists. You know, like it was mm-hmm. quite a lot, and it was quite. Yeah. I really want to go back to that. Yeah. Like, even last season, we had we we dominated the whole of Europe. Two Euro- English teams in the Europa League, two English teams in the Champions League final. So, yeah, I want us to go back to those days, isn't it? I want to dominate Europe again. Yeah. Well, Monster, thank you very much for joining us today. I know you got to get off and do your thing <laughs> no, all the time. You're very dedicated to it, mate. <clears throat> no worries, man. Listen, I, I'm available at any time, anyway. You know, if it's speaking football, I love talking football. Do you know what I mean? Doesn't matter what team you support or whatever, I'm ready to debate you. <laughs> do you know That's what I, mean? what I said, mate. And I couldn't really debate with you because you actually you had, you made very good points, and, I, and I'm yeah. very open with. Um, taking in what other people say, you know what I mean? And, and maybe changing my views as well sometimes when someone can articulate 
their reasoning, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm cool with that. And do you want to shout out your YouTubes and your social media? So everyone can find yeah, you can, f you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter at Monstar CFC. So that's M O N S T A R C F C. That's uh, my, um, my tag for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much, mate, for coming on. And thank you. No worries. Thank you for having me. No worries, mate. We'd love to have you have you on again with Latimer's Prime, I, I believe. <laughs> the uh, what did he, what do they call him? The Devil's Advocate. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good name. Yeah, good name. I like yeah. It. It reminds me of that film as well, with Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Devil's Advocate. <laughs> he is. He literally argues, even when he supports something, he will argue against it just to be the Devil's Advocate. <laughs> That's what I like, you know what I mean? Just like how you feel about football, whether it's right yeah. or not, it's just the passion. That's what I like. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to us today with Football United TV. Go check us out, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube and check out Monstar 2. Go and see it because you want to, because you love fan opinions and so do we. Yeah. And, um, have a good weekend. Pray for the rivals. Yes, pray for, especially Matt and I, pray for arrival. Pray for the rivals. <laughs> Take care. Take care.